Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an awesome video because today I'm going to show to you how you can make a delicious, fantastic looking cover for your cookbook so you can save some money. I mean, if you are at the moment in a tight budget, you don't, you don't have much money to, to spend on a cover, I always recommend if you have the money for you to go, for example, to Urban Writers and, and get a cover done over there. They really produce great covers or go to Fiverr although many times the the five dollar covers aren't exactly that good okay you get something like this crap over here okay it's this doesn't look good compare this to this this to this it's not good okay this is not good this cover looks pretty decent although over here there are a few things I wouldn't do Anyway, today I'm going to show to you how you can do your cookbook cover. I wasn't actually going to produce this video, but I'm sad of why not. What the heck? Let's let's get the job done. And also make sure to go right below, click on the thumbs up, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can receive on a weekly basis videos like this one. Full of tips, a lot of tricks about Kindle publishing and several ways for you to make money online. Anyway, let's get the ball rolling. Let's get this uh, action started. Let's get some action. Anyway, there are a few things that you need to have in hand. The first one is Photoshop. Okay, I use Photoshop and also I recommend for you to have some basic knowledge about Photoshop before you actually follow this video. So, I mean, I'm not going much in tips and how you can use this software and all of the little things over here because otherwise I would spend over here two hours I'm just going to touch on the tools that I use to make a fantastic looking cover okay so you should have some basic knowledge when it comes to Photoshop now if you don't want to spend money getting Photoshop there are a few alternatives that you can use that are completely free such as canva.com you can also just watch this video get some basic ideas of how you can get this done go to canva.com play around with the tools that they have over there and get something similar the other option that you have is I know that there is a software very similar to Photoshop but install it instead of installing it on your computer you actually use it on your browser and it's pretty similar to Photoshop so you can get that one I don't I forgot the name of it I don't remember just search around and uh, yeah I recommend Photoshop this is what I'm going to use today to get some ball rolling now other things that you need to have images because when it comes to cookbooks images are everything having a good image makes the difference between having a, a crappy cover and you know uh, all of that thing so for that you can use Pixabay you can find pretty decent free images over here with all copyrights always use no copyright images for your books especially for your cover and when, when it comes to the content inside I kind of would stay away but you can still get away with um, images that you can find around the internet so pixabay.com Later on, if you decide to get even more, or you can, I mean, you can even register uh, immediately over here. It's stock.adub.com. Okay, this is in Portuguese because, well, I reside in Portugal. But you can go over here and still, you can get an account. You can see if you like their services. And you get immediately 10 free images. And you can, well, you can get one of those images for your cover they have really splendid images in their service okay which I recommend for you to get an account and later on if you want to use their service well just use their service now you gotta have basic knowledge when it comes to Photoshop you have to have some some I mean at least some some experience because making a cover is is one of the most important things when it comes to your book it's I mean people really this many people really decide whether they are going to purchase your book or not based on the cover so if you fail in this part 
<laughs> then it doesn't matter if your content is good. It doesn't matter if your book title is good or your description. You can have all of the rest really expertly done, but if your cover is garbage, then your book won't sell. So, I mean, try this, but if you feel like, if you look at your cover and you feel like, nah, I wouldn't buy this book, then just don't publish your book with your cover, okay? Just don't do that because, I mean, this is one of the most important things. Just go to Fiverr, just go to somewhere else and get the cover done. Now, when it comes to me, I nowadays no longer do book covers. I used to do them because I've been using Photoshop for a very long time, since I was like 11 years old. I've been using Photoshop, so that's like 20 or something years that I've been using Photoshop. And uh, I stopped using I stopped using Photoshop. I started to stop doing my covers because it's very, very time consuming. I'd rather do something else. Anyway, let's get this done. A lot of conversation and let's get some action. The first thing that you need to do is simply choose a couple of cover ideas that you like. Okay, so this is the carnivore diet cookbook. I don't recommend for you to choose like one of the covers that belongs exactly to this keyword and just imitate this cover because otherwise I mean, you will get a cover that looks exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, and you don't want that. You don't want to be a, a cheap imitation of another book or another author in that niche. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to probably type in different keywords, but inside of the same niche, in this case, inside of the cookbook niche or the diet cookbook niche, and see covers that appear for other keywords. Let's say, the paleo diet it's the first thing that came into my mind and you can get some other ideas and you can use these covers for your your keyword or for yeah for your keyword you can use this example for example and, and try something different try probably to change a bit the fountain and and do a bit differently but as you can see, you can get a lot of ideas. What you want to do is get ideas from books that are selling really well because most likely that has to do with the cover. Not always the case, but many times it has to do with the cover like this one. This is a seems like a, a good cover. Anyway, I already made over here a choice. I like this cover over here. Here it is. Okay, this is the ketogenic diet, and I'm going to try to do something similar. I'm not saying that my cover will look identical, or probably I will imitate way too much along this video, this cover, because I don't have time to, you know, just play around with options and, and try to make things look completely different. Okay, so I'm going to try to imitate this cover. What I'm going to do is just save image to my computer. Now I'm going to open this image in Photoshop because I want to get the right sizes for my cover. You can see that this is not the standard size, which is this one. This is the standard size. And when it comes to cookbooks, I like to have uh, covers that are a bit uh, larger compared to the standard size, which is this one. Because this seems like for a... A novel or something like that but cookbooks I tend to like covers that are a bit larger and also because they are more catchy I mean people look more to this ones yeah you have a bigger thumbnail it's just more enticing okay so let's go over here and check create ebook and see the sizes that they actually suggest the ideal size of ebook cover art height blah 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 this means that for every 1000 1, pixels and and no no Okay, they suggest ideal dimensions for cover files are this ones. Okay, this is for uh, height and this is for length. Now, what I'm going to do over here is just, just use this height and I'm going to go over here. This is just to, I'm not going to use this cover, I'm just going to use this cover for the sizes. So let's go back over here and see one, one, 
let's just copy this and then I'm going to change uh, image size you can see over here and this is for height okay and make sure that you have this over here connected so it can actually so for some reason I, I forgot to to remove the the thing the column I think it's column okay way too big but now we have the right sizes so once we publish our book into Amazon we have uh, a thumbnail with this sizes basically I just save image has to my computer I open in Photoshop and then I went over here to uh, Amazon I checked this size for the height not for the not for the the width for the height you want for the height not for the width don't copy the the width size do it for the height and you can see now it just increased in proportion so I can have something similar now let's and now let's get to layers I'm going to unlock this I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to delete this and I'm just going to add a just a, a base color so I can start playing around just like this okay now we have the sizes that we need now what we are going to do is we're going to view and we are going to add a new guide which will allow us to center our content later on down the road so what I'm going to do is 50% for this just like this so I can just let on with the title and everything just center everything now let's go and get the most important thing which is an image not sure if I'm going to get an image a good image over here so I'm just going to go and try meet I don't know what I'm going to find over here and probably I won't find the best image for my book because I mean sometimes finding this is the reason why covers take so long because you need to find the an image with the appropriate sizes that will look good and that it doesn't kind of camouflage your 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 title and kind of hides it and this is the reason why I said this cover it's kind of good but you you can see that diet the I mean the background because it's dark it's kind of camouflaging this so I would actually had over here be, uh, white for this fount and it would just kind of be more kind of pop out more so what you want to do is always contrast your background with your fount color always make contrast so it kind of pops out and also remember that this thumbnails will be, look small so it's very important for you to do that and also when it comes to the fount family that you choose also make sure to choose something that looks simple don't go for anything that looks way too complicated remember this is a small thumbnail that people will initially see before they actually decide to click go over here and purchase your book so I'm not sure if I'm going to find a good image over here and I'm not going to spend my whole day trying to search for one you can also go to a dupe stock and you can see that over here I probably would have an easier time just finding something that looks really good they they have ex they have splendid images over here I really like it um, I like the, I when it comes to cookbooks I like although this seems like a, a good cover uh, I don't like to have raw meat appearing I like to have something cooked that looks delicious because I mean people don't eat actually raw meat so um, although this this images look pretty good but yeah you can go over here but let's get to Pixabay and see if we can find something um, this is not bad but it's too confusing that's that's the problem that you will have you need to have like an image where you have some clean background on the top where you can have your t title and it doesn't get confusing so this is the reason why making covers can be really a pain in the butt because I mean many times you can find anything that looks decent and over here in Pixabay it seems the case 
This one doesn't look bad, but it's way too large. We need something smaller. Um, let's just go, 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 and see if I can find something. So sometimes this process may take uh, 30 minutes, an hour, and um, might take a long time. Really, this is like a good image. I like this, um, but it's way too large. The problem is being it's the image is way too large, and I know that once I pass this, it won't look good. It it needed to be a bit zoom out, where you would see this uh, piece of meat more uh, smaller. And um, okay, I'm having quite a hard time finding over here an image, but. You certainly can find something that looks quite good. So what I'm going to do is, um, let's check this one. This doesn't look bad. A lot of meat, a lot of sausages. Um, this this is not bad. Also, this is. I think this is one. This image is already from. Yeah, the eye stocks, you need to pay them. So that's why I'm not clicking on them. So what I'm going to do is, because um, this is taking way too long, I would need to scroll, 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 till I found something that looked decent. And sometimes you can't find something that it looks decent, so you just need to uh, pay to get some, some good looking images. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab over here a, a free image from 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 a dupe stock, but of course you don't want to do that because it's just faster for me to find something that looks pretty good over like this image. I mean, this looks really good. I would actually have this over here, this one, because it has more color, it has the to tomatoes and so on. It really pops out. Although I would try to get another image because this image looks pretty similar to some of them some of these images are already peering over so I probably I would definitely get another type of image but I don't want to spend my whole day over here so uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to save this uh, over here I actually need to log in so I'm just going to do this quickly and then I'm going to come back again. Okay, so I got a, um, a free image from a dupe stock. It won't look exactly ideal because you should actually register an account with them. But at the moment, I, I'm, not, I'm no longer paying for their service because I'm no longer doing my own cover. So I'm not going to do that. So I just got a, a preview one. It has this thing over here appearing, so it doesn't look good. But what you want to do is simply register an account with them and then you can get 10 free images get a few images for your cookbook and later on if you want to use continue using their service then just use it but you can see that you can more quickly find better images over here than in pixabyte although pixabyte still has pretty good quality images so the thing i'm going to do is uh, rotate this image i think it's uh clockwise if I'm not wrong yeah exactly like this it's clockwise and now what I'm going to do is just unlock this image and I'm going to pass this image over here and you can see that it won't be it won't have the best quality ever because uh, this is a preview image but I'm just going to increase the size over here so I can fill this this gap um, just like this course you want to position things better and just like this okay so now we are going to add a title for this so let's call it the and basically what you want to do is if you're planning and you should do it you should actually do a series of books with the same author name what you should do is have like a template for your first cover kind of build a template and then basically the thing the only thing that you need to do is basically just change the title for another one depending on the the keyword that you want to publish your newer book and 
basically just change the background image and just rinse and repeat the same process and just use that as a template so you can have uh, multiple book covers looking similar and that's how you actually make um, that's how you actually make a, a series of books so also when it comes to fonts I'm not going much in in um, detail with this but what you can do is if you want you can get some free fonts just by searching for free fonts and go to one of these websites and just use uh, just check some fonts if you want to use different found families for your your books I'm not going to do that in this case um, so I'm just going to head over here actually let's go back to and see how this cover is done so let's call it the the carnivore diet it's the carnivore diet cookbook so the the carnivore actually this is way too small so I'm just going to increase this a bit let's try 200 probably a bit too too large let's actually go over here and see how they are doing this so actually I'm probably I'm going to capitalize everything because this is a book title and also you can go over here uh, to character this is a uh, another window that you can open by going to windows and character and you can basically increase the um, I think it's the vertical scaling of your font so just well you need to select everything so you just go over here and just increase it and you can see now it kind of looks good it's it this is a very basic font this is just Arial that I'm using over here so I'm going to and sometimes it takes really long because you need to kind of move things around and kind of adjust the positions of everything until it looks good um, so I'm just going to duplicate this layer just going to layers uh, press over here to open this button with the right mouse button and press duplicate and I'm just going to call it carnivore diet and I'm going to increase this uh, font a bit because it's the main title of my book so it's uh, 150 let's try 200 and probably I would um, over here it doesn't look ideal because I have this crap appearing on the background but if I had the original image it would look a bit better Actually, I think I wrote this well yeah the carnivore diet and I'm just going to duplicate this again cookbook and I would have something like this and okay oops and uh, just put over here try to center everything if you want you can put over here this if you um, how you call this it's um, Jesus I forgot guides okay and this might not be exactly center so let's check if this is center actually I positioned this pretty well on the center and I'm going to decrease the size of cookbook to 150 actually it selected everything so make sure to select the right layer over here go to the um, the fonts icon and then just decrease the size over here just like this so it may look good so now I probably would need to play around with this just like this and and kind of adjust the, the size a bit and uh, that, that doesn't seem that good over there um, not sure probably I would put everything on the center just like this um, not sure let's try so yeah you kind of need to play around with these options it's not and I'm just doing this uh, kind of giving you an idea of what you can do kind of quickly and um, and I need to have my pen name so I'm going to grab once again or for, I'm going to duplicate the layer so it just keeps all of my actually I, it was cookbook that I duplicated and let's say Jordan Alexa and now I'm going to decrease this to 72 it probably will look quite decent and I can put over here on the side 
just like this okay I think over here try to find a place where uh, your name can kind of be noticeable because t sometimes people like to put it over here like in the middle in in the background where it has a lot of things and people won't be able to see uh, your writing okay the the fonts apparent so what you can do also let's see the the size I'm actually going to have just put the, push this a bit on top as you can see once I do this you can more easily see my name on the on the bottom and I'm just going to kind of center this over here just like this Jordan like so of course if I had the original image it would look a, a far better but I'm just using and I'm going to add over here I'm going to add try to add a shadow on the on the bottom a really slight shadow so what I do is I use this option which is called um, rectangle marquee tool and I'm just going to select a small rectangle that covers the whole bottom section over here and I'm going to paint this uh, let's say a really dark gray and I'm going to use the bucket for this option and just paint this area right below now what I like to do to give this kind of a shade to the uh, to the background is I go and it's in selected and I'm selecting still this layer I go to filter and I choose over here I mean see it's render and no it's not render it's blur and you get to motion motion blur and you try to put over here 90 percent because you want this shadow to appear on this on the um, on 90 percent so and you can increase this a bit that's trying to make to see if this actually looks good sometimes you really need to experiment around and, and kind of get a feel and, and see if things look good the reason why I added this shadow is just to make this font appear uh, to for people to be able to see this font more easily as you can see it kind of helps a bit and it's not that drastic and I'm going to do the same thing on the top section so I'm going to do a new layer and I'm just going to experiment in this in this case I'm actually going to select a, a larger area for this go to the bucket paint this area and um, just go over here to filter and motion blur and just try to kind of have this motion blur and it just makes it look better and let's just I can increase over here a bit just kind of it just makes the as you can see it's really slight it, it, it's barely noticeable but you can see that it just helps the the fount kind of pop out a lot more once you do this now what we are going to do is we are going to add this small little uh, what you call this circle yeah and over here I'm going to have the subtitle of my book this is a very basic cookbook cover so I'm going to select over here this uh, circle icon never sure how you call this and I'm just going to add over here to the, the side a small circle make sure to click on the the shift button because this allows you to increase in proportion if you don't use the shift button on your keyboard as you can see it doesn't help much uh, so yeah I'm going to use this and actually I'm going to put over here on the side like kind of like this I don't want to I don't want to really um, I don't want to cover my my um, my photo too much so I'm just going to put over here on the side just like this and it seems like I'm get to the the found and see how it looks like of course I want to when it comes to this small circles or whatever you call it you kind of want to give it a color that you can find inside of your image so we have red appearing over here you have green so I'm going to avoid those colors and I'm going to try something else because this is supposed to 
really capture people's intention. Let's see if I actually, I'm not sure if, yeah. Actually, the, the orange probably wasn't that bad. Nah, I don't like that. I thought I was going to like that, but I don't like it. For some reason, it doesn't work well over here. Nah, that looks ugly. Um, sometimes you really need to play around. Let's try blue or dark blue. It also is not that catchy. Let's go over here. Well, I always try to kind of have a contrasting color that you can find inside of the image, but also I don't like the red. As I already said, this is something that it takes time for you to kind of get. Actually, I, I seem to like this one. You can also have over here a, a white border appearing, which I think it already has. And let's just increase a bit. Nah, not too bad, but probably not the best color. Let's try. I mean, blue is not exactly that bad. Probably dark blue. Let's try another. Uh, let's try some. That's not exactly bad. Okay, I wouldn't need to test around, but I think you get the idea. Let's just try once again orange and that will be my final try. Actually there's a there is a like a red orange that may work well. Like this one. Yeah, that kind of flashes well over here. That looks that looks better. I think that looks better. And now what you want to do is simply add a title over here. So I'm going to once again just duplicate this layer because I'm going to use the, the same thing. And um, I'm just going to add over here, let's say 60, 60 really large so people can see it well. Once again, you can, if you want, you can put a guide over here on the center just to kind of position everything into the center so it will look good and uh, now I'm going to duplicate this decrease the font a bit for this and this will be the the subtitle for my book and I'm going to decrease a bit this so I'm um, let's try let's try 100 for this 100 100 and let's say 60 delicious um, I'm not sure. I mean, let's just check over here some other subtitles. I have no idea about this, um, about this diet. Just, let's try another one. So let's see what people write. A complete guide says carnivore diet with over, let's say 60 recipes, meal plan, 60, 60 carnivore, 60 delicious uh, recipes and meal plans and seven day meal plan. Let's call it seven day meal plan. Okay, this looks, probably need to decrease the size a bit, but what I'm going to do is I need to go to character because this is not giving any space below so I need to actually adjust this just go over here and just do this just give uh, I'm going to decrease the font a bit for this because it's way too large and uh, let's try 72 probably that works well and uh, let's see if I I'm probably will need to kind of position this like this uh, and let's see how it, this will look like. Probably I need to kind of reduce the size of a bit over here for my 60 to 120 pixels, just a bit, so I can fit everything here. Position this a bit on the top. Let's actually just zoom in a bit. 
just so we can get this done. So I'm not going in detail about how you can use the how you can use this um, how you can use Photoshop I mean but I think you get a good idea of the options that I use to make my covers so I'm just going to decrease the the spacing between the the fonts between the test I mean and I'm going over here to this this is in the character window and I have 120 pixels let's try 100 and see how it looks like okay too, way too much 72 let's try 72 a bit more 80 yeah that looks good probably no 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 I want a bit more a bit more it needs a bit more spacing and the reason why I'm going to give a bit more spacing is I know that once people are just seeing this small thumbnail if everything is way too glued together uh, it's just harder for people to to read what is what the content or read the content over here. and what I'm going to do is just go to layers once again and I'm going to this section over here and I'm going to make this italic just so people can actually notice this section a bit more and I'm going to decrease the um, the circle a bit and just adjust it a bit Let's see if this looks better that this way. Just try to position things well. Yeah, that looks kind of good. And let's just try to make the 60 bold and see how it looks like. And let's make let's look this see this at the distance. Nah, I probably would decrease the font a bit. It seems way too large still. I don't like it. So I'm going to decrease to 60 pixels. I'm going to give less space in between. I'm going to decrease the. Um, I'm going to decrease the um, the circle a bit because now I can do that just make things so it's, it's really a question of you just going around trying several options and making things really optimizing what you have and and having the right image now that looks better okay now that looks better if I had the the image without the the copyright thing or whatever you call this it will look a pretty good cover now the thing that I probably would do even is um, probably I would have a different font for carnivore diet and probably try something different just to kind of make it more distinguishable just like this probably I like this font but I'm not sure if this would be the the best font for this not sure eh, it seems kind of hard to read I probably wouldn't use this but yeah you can change it around if you want I would need to go over here and uh, I have a lot of founts and I would need to try around so probably the the main title of your book you may want to try it with the different found like this one it kind of makes it seem like a bit more well actually it removed it but it's this one where it is gosh uh, not sure what I was actually using that phone now I'm not sure what, where it is but um, ah gosh actually that phone looked quite good I think it's this one or not no not sure it's 
So I had a, a, a pretty, it looked like a gift found. And it kind of gave that, uh, that feel to, it's this one I think. Let's just see how this one will look like. I'm going to decrease the size a bit. Something like this. The carnivore diet. I think it's way too bold. It's hard for, for people to see what what this means. So I would remove this. But probably something with a, a few scratches would not look exactly bad over here for the carnivore diet. And kind of give that that rough idea to that aggressive idea to the carnivore diet. That people just <laughs> eating things uh, raw or something like that. I'm not sure about this diet. Uh, so probably I would try bold. And you actually can do this. I mean, you can add a bold over here, make this fount bold. Um, I could actually, I, I think I have over here a surface that allows me to, to do this. Or you can go over here and you go, go online and you can search for uh, scratch surface and you can search for a surface like this I'm going to show you what you can do this is a great way for you to have some some uniqueness to your found family to your found I mean uh, so I'm going to grab this one or something like this this over here and um, for some reason I'm going to just save this image vector scratch I'm going over here I'm going to open vector this one over here I'm going to open here and I'm going to pass this over here um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this layer right on top of where is the carnivore carnivore diet over here I'm going to increase this a bit it's like this and now I'm going to select everything make sure to select everything and what you want to do is invert selection so it's control shift E just like this to invert everything now you click on this small eye and you go to the layer where you have in this case cookbook and actually I'm going to render rasterize this type of layer so I can use it now you click on the rubber and you kind of can start deleting. I'm not sure if this is going to look good over here, but uh, I'm just showing to you something that you can, actually for some reason it didn't do it, but let's just do it again. Actually I think I selected the wrong one. That's why I didn't do it. Yeah. So I actually need to rasterize this layer uh, over here because it did it on the wrong one. Let's see how it looks like. And I'm going to do the same thing for the rest. So I'm going just to push this over here and I'm going to select this. I'm going to go to the right layer. I'm going to uncheck this box so people can see it. And I'm going to control shift E so I can do this and uh, invert the selection and just do this for the rest. And kind of gives this rough feeling to my found. And probably I would do the same thing for cookbook and also the, and probably I would adjust things a bit around. I'm not sure if this would look exactly ideal over here, but I'm just giving you a few ideas of things that you can try. If I had the good image right right above you can see that this is a splendid cover it's really simple for you to do as long as you know how to optimize things position things in the right places I mean it's it doesn't fall back it's not I mean let's go back it's not actually I find this cover better than for example this one this cover is pretty decent this cover is pretty decent I probably as I already said I would probably choose another image because it looks kind of similar to this ones and I want to have something that is unique yeah, actually I don't like much this this thing over here so I'm just going to history and I'm just going to remove it so I'm just going to clean everything 
over here and uh, and uh, let's go here I actually don't like this it looks better this way okay that is how you can do a cover uh, hopefully you got a few tips over here as you can see it's it's not that complicated as long as you know how to use appropriate options for your cover it's not that complicated I showed you what I do uh, when I actually used to do covers I no longer do them but as you can see it's a pretty simple thing it's it's really when it comes to getting a cover it's really about knowing how to m have a title and a subtitle that has a contrasting color that pops out choosing a good image is one of the most vital things having an image where you can have enough space on the top where you can add your title and so on and it doesn't get confusing with the background also knowing how to position your author name in a place where people can easily read it because sometimes this is something that I notice that uh, authors tend to do I'm not sure if there's a, a cover over you can see that this cover that I did quite quickly uh, I would do this very quickly if I wasn't explaining everything and it just looks far better than this crappy crappy covers over here that people probably got from fiber it just I mean these covers are so so ugly really bad covers you can I mean you look at them and you can see that they look quite cheap so this looks pretty good looks pretty delicious I would buy this a book with this cover I mean this is a, a great cover why not so that is all for this video leave a like right below and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you have any questions related to kindle publishing or or any tips you would like to share about how to make a fabulous cover then leave it on the comment section right below that is all for now stay tuned with jordan alexo and bye